Hello, my name is Ian Cresswell. I'm the Manufacturing Product Manager with Passport Software. And in this session, we're going to cover the power of the PDF. Now, what do we mean by that? Well, we'll be kind of brief here, but um, Passport introduced some time ago the ability to generate PDF documents natively from the Passport applications. What do we mean by that? Well, we mean multiple things. Let's take a quick look at some of the things that we can do. We'll take a simple report like our, oh, let's use our customer number. Now this is just a list of our customers by customer number and we're just going to take our defaults for this report and you'll notice here in the graphical it's already filled everything in for us so we're just going to click OK. We're immediately presented with our printer's dialog box. Inside of this dialog box we have a number of options. Any of our traditional company printers that were set up in our system will be listed here but we also introduced some new things like PDF, PDFP which we'll come back to as well as these view options. View as HTML, view as PDF. Now we're going to work today with the view as PDF option so we're gonna select that and press our select button. Now what the application does is it invokes our little internal browser and it immediately opens up or in some cases longer reports may take a minute or so it opens up our report on the screen for us in the form of a PDF document. We can see here where it created our temporary file. So what do we do? Why would we bother? Well, multiple reasons. First, I can now review my information right here on my screen. So I can go through my report, make sure everything looks the way I expect it to look. And if I need to print it, go ahead and print it. We can click on our little print button up here. Now you may have noticed this little toolbar kind of showed up and dropped off again. What happens is, is uh, certain versions of Adobe uh, they actually hide their toolbar now. That's the case here. Uh, to invoke that toolbar or put it up on top, you'll see the little Adobe symbol over here. Just click on it, and it actually opens up additional menu options for us. Now, these are going to vary. You have control over what appears and does not appear here, so they may vary in your version. But some of the ones that I have turned on include the ability to search. Now, when we look at this, we find our little binoculars. We click it and we are now presented with a search box. Now the beauty of this is we are now outside of Passport and actually taking advantage of the power of Adobe. We have the ability to do keyword searches in the entire document and we have some control over that including matching only the whole word, applying case sensitivity, or not. So if we want to go through and find something in this document, we'll look for the word Elliot. So we're searching for Elliot Enterprises. Now brings us right to that. Brings us right to that section of the report. This is much further into the report. It's actually oh, probably a couple of pages in. Maybe it's uh, even still the first page. Yeah, I guess it is. But there is Elliott Enterprises. Now if there were multiple occurrences of that, it would list each, of, each occurrence right down below here. And simply clicking on that occurrence brings you to it. So it shows you some of the power. We can search for a number. So if we're trying to hunt down a value, we can. We can search for a name. We can search for anything you want. If it's in there, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be found. So this is one of the key pieces or reasons you may want to consider displaying your reports to PDF before you do anything else with them. Now, almost consider it a print preview, if you will. Because at this point, if I decide I need to print all or some of this report, hey, click that print button because now I can go ahead and I can print all pages, I can print just that current page, or maybe I want to print a range of pages. Select that range. Go ahead and send it to your printer. What if I don't want to print it? What if I'm looking to save paper? Now, you'll never go paperless as a business. I know lots of people talk about going paperless. I don't know that anybody will ever really achieve full paperless. You can certainly go paperless. And by that, I mean let's cut down on the amount of paper that we're generating. If I need to retain a copy of this report for some reason, click Save. Set up an archive folder out on your server and archive it there. Why do I say do it out on the server? Because your server is going to be backed up nightly if you're doing things correctly. So your reports will be backed up as well. We've actually had customers that have gone paper less uh, and have dramatically reduced the amount of paper they use day to day, week to week, month to month, year to year. And they've taken different approaches to doing so. Uh, one of them actually creates a job folder. They're very much a job type shop. They, they make lots of things to, to custom order. They're a manufacturing company. So what they do for each new job that they get, they create a folder that matches their sales order number. All documents 
associated with that get put into there. And that includes stuff that comes to them via customer from their customers, as well as documents that they're generating from their application. All of that stuff gets stored there. At the end of the job, any handwritten documents get scanned, they also get stored there, and then they get shredded. So they're no longer keeping all of that paper laying around. Again, it saves them a fair amount of money, and it makes everything accessible to anybody who has the rights to that folder on the network. So sales can see what production's doing and vice versa. Management can oversee what everybody's doing. It gives them a great level of visibility. There's no risk of somebody forgetting to put it back in the file and losing it, accidentally throwing it away, because there are just some documents that you can't get back. That's one of the ways you may opt to use the PDF printing. Again, this is a report. We can now print it. We can now search it. What else can we do with it? And we can email it. How hard is that to do? It's as easy as clicking a button. It'll invoke your local uh, um, uh, email client as soon as we click the attach button over here. And this is going to be different for different versions as to how it works. And it'll open up our, e our email program and allow us to go ahead and use it like we would for emailing anybody else. But now our document's attached to it. All right, so just a quick recap, and this is on reports. We have the ability to display them to screen. We have the ability to search those reports, email those reports, print those reports, and finally, save it. As I say, out on your server somewhere where it's going to get backed up. Click your Save button, choose your location. So that's how we might manage reports using our, our View PDF option. That's not the only thing we can do. We could have bypassed that, as I mentioned. You see we have a listing up here called PDF. Um, in this case, what we were going to do if we select this is we're, we're directly going to create a document. In the end, it displays it still, but we're physically creating a document as opposed to just a, a brief work document. Um, it will eventually get cleaned up, so if you want to save it, we'll, we'll recommend moving it out of the RWWRK folder and put it somewhere else. But the idea here is, is we can start to generate those, and we've got multiple ways to do so. Now, what's that PDFP option? That's really fascinating because what that allows us to do is that'll allow us to take our forms, things like statements, invoices, purchase orders, any of the forms in our application, and if we send them to the PDF or the PDFP option, the PDF will generate a series of PDF documents for us, one for each form. So if I'm doing invoices and I'm invoicing 10 orders, I'll end up with 10 documents when I choose either my PDF or PDFP option. Now the difference between those two, the PDFP option allows us to create that PDF and also physically print a copy of it. Now how do I get back at those afterwards? It's pretty easy. You have multiple ways to do it. One is using our PDF Forms File Processing Tool right here in CTL. We'll cover that in another session. But just so you understand the hierarchy, what we do is we actually store our PDF documents inside of a, a file called PDF FIL, which is underneath your passport installation folder. And then inside of there, we have some logical groupings of documents that we might print. This is where our alignments will get sent if we're trying to do some testing. Our AP remittance report will be printed here. AR invoices, generalized forms, manufacturing forms, OE invoices, and so on. So if we go into there, we see that we have a series of logically named files waiting for us. And these happen to be at the top two are a couple of sales order invoices from our manufacturing application. And we can tell that because it tells us what company it comes from. There's the company 00, what module. CO, that's customer order processing in the manufacturing system, document type, I for invoice. The next is the customer number, so we sold this to customer number one, and then finally the invoice number. So these are very intelligently named, and that's what helps to allow us to go out and find these through our forms file processing tool. We can even email these forms from here. We can stack them and email them, similar to using the, the stacking options in the print reports from disk. So again, a recap. What can we do with PDFs? We can do a lot of things with PDFs. We can cut down on the amount of paper that we're, that we're using by reviewing our reports online, saving them digitally. We're also making them more available to other staff members that way. And we can control through security on the network who can get into what. Just make sure you're storing your reports in the appropriate place.
accounting sensitive documents perhaps you want to have in a folder that only certain people have access to other more generalized ones you can put into a folder where lots of folks can get at it but the idea here is is we can start to do more things with these reports up to and including keyword searching and that's a big one that's a really big one because if there's information about a given product a given customer um, whatever it is you're searching for if it's in the report somewhere you can go ahead and search for it. So that's all we have today. Just wanted to do kind of a brief overview of some of the things that we can do with the PDFs. Experiment with them. Remember, if you're going to use the PDF or PDFP option as a printer, you're going to have to set those up in your company information. Talk to your system administrator. Talk to your passport partner. They can help you get that set up.